tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. All right, it's the monsoon season out west, and you know what? Sometimes they can pick up a whole month's worth of rain in about an hour or two hours' time. And as Mike mentioned, because the soil is so hard that water just simply runs off into these what would normally be dry canyons, they fill up very quickly with water. Well, it's not monsoon season around here. We don't have a monsoon, however. Some of the downpours overnight tonight could be quite heavy, at least in localized spots. Here's a look outside right now. It's fairly quiet. The air is very muggy. It's full of moisture. If you've been out this evening, I don't have to tell you, it's quite sick. 76 right now at the airport. Look at that dew point of 68, and we've got that south wind at 6, so we're keeping the humid air being pumped into the tri state. That's what will serve as fuel for thunderstorms overnight tonight. We've been tracking this wind shift throughout the Midwest throughout the afternoon, and finally now it's making its way into the tri state. And here we go. You can see the showers and storms which have exploded across much of Indiana through the evening. We were talking about this at 5, 5 30, and 6. We expected it to already be here in the tri state, so it's a little bit behind. Behind schedule, but it's still coming, though. I do think some of us may be rattled out of bed overnight tonight by some loud claps of thunder. You can see here on a close up shot, there's nothing happening across the viewing area, but just on the fringes out towards the western parts of Ripley County, there, you see new thunderstorms beginning to fire. Let me show you the live radar here, and you can see that healthy storm now out to the west of Versailles. If you're over in southeast Indiana, you're looking west. If you can see through the haze out there, you might actually be able to see a little bit of lightning out there to the west this evening. So, scattered shadows. Showers and storms are expected to increase and build across the area. Let me show you future cast here. Here's 11 o'clock, and it's doing a decent job keeping most of the area dry. But look what happens as we head towards midnight and 1, eventually 2, 2 30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Scattered showers and storms are expected to fire. They should be gone by the time you get up for your Wednesday morning commute. So it will be dry for the morning commute tomorrow, but still kind of damp and certainly on the muggy side. And then tomorrow afternoon, after some hot sun, we may likely pop a few more. Of those thunderstorms. So this pattern just basically keeps repeating itself. The time may change a little bit, but the overall theme of the story doesn't. It's heat, humidity, and pop up storms, scattered storms in the forecast. Temperatures right now 78 still in Mason, 77 Loveland, Walton at 77, BV at 76. So don't expect temperatures to fall much overnight. With the rain, temperatures will dip back into the upper 60s to around 70. And then tomorrow, afternoon highs will climb back into the middle and upper 80s, much like today, with temperatures just shy of 90. Heat indices will likely peak somewhere between about 90 and 95. So your forecast for tonight, an overnight storm is certainly likely muggy with a low of about 68. And then for tomorrow, expect some hot sun, a couple of stray storms during the afternoon. Look for a high of around 87. Here's your day planner. Starting out the morning with some clouds at 8 a.m., temperatures will be in the upper 60s. Again, the roads may still be a little wet and damp, but I think the rain will be long gone. By 83 by noon, by 3 o'clock into the middle and upper 80s. And here's your seven-day forecast. There you go. We basically repeat this cycle for the next couple of days. Heat, humidity, and storms. Those are the three things you need to remember as we head our way into the weekend. All right. Believe it or not, some people I've spoken with actually like this little shot of.